What's up Cloud Gamers, welcome to the Cloud Gaming XS channel. My name is Nimbus and today we're taking a look at the turn-based world domination strategy game, Humankind. This game dropped on PC, Mac and Stadia on the 17th of August, developed by Sega and Amplitude Studios. This game runs nicely at 1080p. I've spent a bit of time playing this since it came out and I've been enjoying it a lot so far. On first arrival in the world, your tribe starts life off in the nomadic age, exploring the local world around you and finding the best place to claim your territory and build your first village. As you explore and discover treasure and other useful materials, you build up influence points, which you spend to transform your village into a city. Once this is completed, we progress to the first era where you choose a culture to adopt. I chose the Egyptian way of life with its specific building of the pyramids and a unique military unit of Markabata. Assign technology to be researched to be able to build new buildings and military units. As each era turns over to the next time period, you change and adopt a new culture. For example, with my playthrough, I started out life in the ancient era as the Egyptians and changed to a Roman society in the classical era. But I noticed when I built new districts or buildings, they were in the new style. Yet the old buildings I'd made during my Egyptian rule still looked Egyptian. There are 60 different cultures to choose from during the complete playthrough, but try not to let this overwhelm you. This game is kind to newcomers with informative pop-up help windows. Now, some of this may sound familiar to Civilization fans, but don't let that make you think it's a carbon copy. Humankind seems a lot more in depth with the way you rule your empire and has a lot more attention to detail. For example, during your empire's growth you will encounter story decisions to be made concerning your people and the choices you make impact your story later on in the game. Here we see one of my cities having a decision to make regarding lost children. Do you welcome them into the fold as an ally or turn your back and leave? These decisions shape your story and give you influence points and specific bonuses. Also, Stadia State Share is available with this game, called Leave Your Mark. Your friends will see archaeology sites relating to your playthrough built into their game, can compete against your accomplishments, and can complete challenges relating to your story. After more than 100 hours and 4 hours of gameplay, I had only progressed into the second era, so I think there's a lot of value and replayability in this game. Might not be for the faint-hearted, but if you like turn-based strategy games and enjoy a high level of detail, you should definitely check this one out. Also, this game does have direct touch control for Android phones, and also coming soon to iOS. Online multiplayer is also available, which I haven't personally tried yet, but will do so in the coming weeks. If you have this game and would like to play with people online, please let us know in the comments below so we can make it happen. Thanks for joining us today from the whole Cloud Gaming Extreme team. Please like and subscribe for more Cloud Gaming content.